welcome to Friday. Now, you may be forgiven for thinking that Jeremy is hiding under some of these Christmas decorations, but he's out and about at the racetrack. What's happening, Jeremy? Well, Hilary, my namesake, Jeremy Wells, the horse, is running his first race, and I just had to be here. And actually, there's something else going on that's a little bit special to a big surprise for you, Hilary, but I'll tell you all about that a little bit later on. Right, let's go back to Alexandra Park now, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this because Jeremy tells me he has organised a Christmas present for me, which sounds a little bit dubious. <laughs> That's right, Hilary, I have. Now, while I was walking around the stables earlier today, I found a filly with an injured hoof, which is not the only thing that this horse has in common with you. I'll tell you what, there is a striking resemblance between Hillary and Hillary. You've got to say, look at this. Here's Hillary, and there's Hillary. This is Hillary Barry, the horse. She's a filly. She's got a, a sore hoof, actually, much like Hillary. And, um, Hillary met Hillary. What do you think about Hillary? That's who you're named after. That is who you're named after. See if, see if, oh, look. But just one thing, Hillary. If ever you come up against another horse called Jeremy Wells, make sure you just pull back. Just go slow, OK? Just go slow. Be a good girl. You can't do that. You can't tell her to slow down. Just to clarify for everybody out there, well, there is actually a horse called Hillary Barry. There's a horse called Jeremy Wells, and there is a horse called Hillary Barry. They haven't raced against each other yet, though, have they? No, they haven't. But I tell you what, Hillary is a beautiful-looking horse, don't you think? She's, she is, Thank you. I mean, she's a lot more relaxed than Jeremy, I've got to say. I went and saw Jeremy, and Jeremy was like... <laughs> he was doing a very sort of a... He looked terrified. Absolutely terrified. Was, Hillary was just sort of... As soon as we put the camera on her, she looked for the light, and immediately you could see just with the... Did you see the fringe? I How did. About that? Her hairdo is very, very similar to me. And she's got quite the long face. Some people would say that my head's a little bit long. But <laughs> Jeremy, I would not get too cocky. Well, I, about that. I would not get too cocky about your horse, Jeremy Wells, because I had a sneaky chat to uh, TVNZ sports reporter and racing expert Stephen Stewart, and he had a bit to say about your nag. Have a listen. Just put up the, the form for its race and it says it's a rough hope. I agree it's a rough hope. It's run last in its two trials, not fashionably bred, from a moderately successful stable and it's taking on some good horses. I just want to know if this horse is a dog. The punters think so, it's a despised outsider in fixed odds betting, but rough hope. Well, at least it's better than no hope. Back to a few of those. <laughs> so what are the odds? Well, the, look, I, I've got to back my horse, Hillary, clearly. And, uh, look, I, I put a lazy 50 on Jeremy Wells to win. And, look, if he comes through, let's just say I'm going to be $2,800 richer, Hillary. Wow. That's going on the Christmas party tab. Yeah. I'll be shouting, that's for sure. As you can see behind me, everything uh, getting ready for the start of this race. Jeremy Wells, the horse's first race. It's important to say that. And one of the other owners is Jess here. And Jess, I was actually just having a look at the owners of Jeremy Wells, the horse, and there seem to be 17 women. Yes, well... Well noted there, Jeremy. It's um, your own harem of women, the Jeremy Wells Gold Star Racing Syndicate. So this initially started out as Jack's idea to get more women involved in racing, and needless to say, once he got your name, it filled pretty quickly. So what do we expect Jeremy Wells to do in this first race? Um, just get home? Are we, are we looking for a win? Look, I think a win would be amazing, but the real thing to hit home here is these are babies. These are two-year-olds. He's come a long way in a short time, and trainer Jack Carrington just wants him to get around safely. This is essentially ripper rugby and it's a big learning curve so if he gets home without making a mistake we'll be stoked. The interesting thing is uh, Jess is actually very very nervous she's more nervous than I am even though this horse is running around with my uh, name. The strangest the, the way that I'll describe it actually Jess is it's almost like you're taking your child to school for the first 
day at school. It's like you're, you're sort of, this is the track, this is you're saying this is what you're going to be doing. Here you go, off you go, and then they've just got to do what they're going to do. Yeah, they certainly do, and, and you forget that this is such a big learning curve. He's literally gone from learning how to run around with other horses and do things right to right now he's running in his first ever race. So um, it's a massive step from when you first met, met him in May to being on the racetrack, because a lot of horses, to be honest, they're not even able to reach this point, so it's massive. Yeah, so the race has already begun. How's Jeremy Wells going? It's hard to say, actually, from our position I think he here. just made a mistake, to be honest, so... Oh, because he started to gallop. I think he had that Santa hat making a bit of drag time behind him, but um, no, he's, he's out the back, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, look, I mean... He's yeah. right out the back, isn't he? Boy he is, is, right out the back. Boy is he out the back. But what I will say, Jeremy, is he is a stunning specimen. So you can be very proud of how he's presented tonight. And here he goes. I guess, here he is. Look at him go. So one more, just one, just two laps. One more lap to go. So. One more lap to go. Go, Jeremy. I mean, it's not easy with a Santa hat, is it? It's mildly humiliating. And look, I think he's come quite a long way because I know before he was gelded, he uh, bit a woman's breast. Yeah, which probably is an ideal to have a woman's syndicate involved if he's kind of got that tenancy. But um, I think he's learned a few social cues since then, so he's been a lot better, particularly tonight because he's had quite a lot of attention from people here. Yeah, the concern was when I actually saw him in the stables earlier on, he really freaked out and sort of went down backwards <laughs> and um, was a little bit, maybe seemed a little bit overwhelmed by the occasion. But as you said, a young horse. Oh, look, you know, and he's still out there. He's Tim Williams who's driving him. He's a remarkable driver and he won't be beating him up. This is a learning curve. Like, this is like your, we've just had another horse in the front there go at the favourites just made a mistake as well. So this is probably the equivalent to Ripper Rugby and your kid running the other way. Yeah. So next next time maybe he'll go the right direction, but he can only improve. Here he comes. Look at Jeremy Wells. He's look at stunning. him. He's look at him. Look at him at the back. Yeah. He's running in the safest spot. Yeah. yeah Run look. safely, Jeremy. Run safe. Be yes. safe. Look at him. It's quite strange, to be honest. I can actually hear the call, the race call. Yeah. Hearing your name called out. It's quite unusual. Is it the first time? Good work, Jeremy. Good work. The funny Good thing work. is that he's, the he's cameras job, that we're watching the race the on, you can't even see Jeremy Wells. And dear Jeremy, who's actually down at the racetrack, is going, look, you can see him, but we couldn't because Jeremy Wells was so far back. But um, I love the analogy about Ripper Rugby, and it's like your kid's out there playing and they're running the wrong way. Because dear Jeremy, the person, your horse, Jeremy Wells, was so far out of shot, we didn't see Jeremy Wells for most of the race. I think it was saying, I, uh, so you couldn't see him? You no. Couldn't see him. We couldn't. We saw him at the so very beginning, the but he was, he was so far behind. I'm sorry about that, Jeremy. We're going to have to leave you. Poor thing. Um, you, you've lost 50 bucks tonight, and you're not shouting the Christmas party, which is a little bit disappointing. I look forward to Hilary Barry and Jeremy Wells going head-to-head -head in a race. Lovely to see you. See you back at the office shortly.